Hey, Pastor Dale, I notice you're wearing purple today. Yes, I am, because it's the season of Lent. Lent? What's Lent? Is that like when you borrow stuff from people and you don't have to give it back? Well, no, 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 no. Lent is the time that we tell God our sins. Why? Um, if he doesn't know, I'm not telling him. Well, no, no, no. It's not that God doesn't know. I mean, God knows everything. But Lent is a time that we remember the great love that God has for us, that we confess our sin to him, and we say, God, I know that I've done these things that don't make you happy, and yet you still love me. And, and so we confess our sin to God, we tell God our sin, and we know that Jesus died on the cross to take all of those sins away, and we're reminded that he was willing to do that for us. Really? Yeah. The, because Jesus died for us, he took away all of our sin. All of whose sin? Everyone. Everyone in the world. Everyone? I mean, like, I'm thinking maybe there's some people that maybe are not quite, you know, a few too many sins or, or something like that. No, no, no. God's love is for everyone. It doesn't matter where you're from or, or what you've done or... or, or or anything. Really? Everyone? Yeah. Yeah, in, fa in fact, uh, this week, our story is from Acts chapter 10. And there was a soldier, and his name was Cornelius. Cornelius? Yeah, that's right. And God wanted Peter to go and tell him about Jesus so that he could be baptized and, um, and, and be part of God's family. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and the problem was that G uh, Peter was... He was kind of avoiding some people that were different from him. Oh, I can understand that. Well, yeah, but God didn't want him to. God said, what I've made clean, don't you call it unclean. What does that mean? Well, when Jesus died for us on the cross, he took away everyone's sin. He made us all clean. And in baptism, he washes away our sins so that we're clean forever. Oh. Yeah, and, and so... So Peter listened to God, and, and he went, and, and he told Cornelius about Jesus, and he told his whole family and, and the, the people who worked at his house and everything, and, and all of them believed in Jesus, and they were all baptized. Wow, that's great. Yeah, it is. You know, God loves everyone. He wants us all to know him. He wants us all to be a part of his family and, and to know his love so that we can be with him forever. Hey, so I was right. What do you mean? Right about what? About Lent. Huh? Well, on the cross, Jesus borrowed all our sin, and he's not giving them back. <laughs> well, I, I suppose if you put it that way, I guess you were right. Hey, we should thank him for that. Good idea. Can you pray with us? Dear Jesus, thank you for taking away all my sin. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, so I have a question for families. You do? Yeah, okay, go ahead and ask. Okay, so are there people that you have that are different from you? Kind of like Cornelius was different from Peter? I mean, I do. You do? Yeah, I have like like some sheep, or, I mean like, like goats and, and pigs and cows. They're different from me, but I can still tell them about Jesus and I can still do nice things for them. Yeah, that's right. So maybe they have some pigs and, and cows in their life. Well, maybe. Or, or maybe people. Well, yeah, that could be too. So think about the people that you have in your life. And this would be something to discuss with your family. Who are the people that you have the opportunity to show God's love to?